They are tracking another opportunity to see the Northern Lights late tonight. Meteorologist Nathan Gidley is here to let us know if we'll see, or at least if some of us will see, a grand show like we did back in May. Yeah, even months later, I'm still fascinated by that big display of Northern Lights we saw a couple months ago. Here's what this was the view from our Bluffton camera of the Northern Lights the night of May 10th. 2024, you see some of that color up in the sky. Even with light pollution here in Fort Wayne, I captured some of the shimmering uh, skies here in terms of the northern lights with some of that green and pinkish color showing up. So we really learned what it takes to create a big grand display around here, and I'm here to tell you that's not what we're anticipating tonight. Here's a look at where the northern lights could be seen before daybreak Tuesday. The best chance is in the shade of blue to the north, but we're in this lower chance zone. The the best viewing is going to be along the horizon with a special camera. You're going to want to find a patch of clear sky and the best viewing is going to come from 5 a.m. to 6.35 a.m. That's when sunrise occurs, but the peak of the aurora looks to come after sunrise, so we're not anticipating a grand show like in May. But if you're looking to see anything, look off to the north, get away from city lights and use that special camera sitting the long exposure setting on there. We also look at the KP values that describe global magnetic disturbances in near Earth space. And what we learned back in May is it takes the KP index up to nine for us to see a grand display. What are we anticipating tonight? Only a KP index value up to seven is anticipated, and that's looking to come after sunrise. So it's more likely we see a five or a six, and that's indicating a more northern uh, extent of the northern lights here. So more likely you'll see it just along the horizon or not at all. So good luck in finding the aurora. We'll cross our fingers. The forecast works out here tonight, which Nick's is to talk about right now. Meteorologist Nathan Gidley, Wayne 15 News.